Peace, peace, peace. This is your humble hip-hop sales coach, Tiger Toledo. And you already know what it is, man. You rocking with the best. Y'all heard? What's up, champions? What up? Always a pleasure to see you guys. I hope you guys are having a fabulous Friday. You are listening to your humble hip-hop sales coach on a live audio right now. I am... uh at gymnastics with my daughter waiting for her to get out so i just wanted to do this quick video with you guys what up shauna salute to you guys um i want to first off i want to thank you guys for congratulating me on my latest new addition my little son noah was born last thursday by my gorgeous nubian wife of 12 years so thank you to everybody that you know shouted us out and you know said congratulations to that we really really appreciate that i think it like 184 you know likes and stuff and i don't even know that many people to be honest with you so but i i i appreciate it nonetheless but let's get into it man you have to plant the seeds now in order for you to enjoy your harvest later. So, of course, I talk about entrepreneurship. I believe anybody and everybody can be an entrepreneurial, an entrepreneur, whether they have the desire to do so or not, that's on them. But I do believe that anybody can be an entrepreneur and a successful one at that. So, one of the things I want you guys to keep in mind Shout out to you, Gerald Martin. Thank you for tuning in. Um, one of the things I want you guys to keep in mind, really keep this in mind right here. Email marketing is, until there's a new technology that is gonna replace email marketing, email marketing is the way to go right now. Secondary will be telephone, text, and I'll explain why. In email marketing, right? Think about how long you've kept the same email address. Think about it for a second. How many phone numbers have you changed over the last, I don't know, five years? Now think about how long have you kept the same email in the last five years? Which one has changed? Has your phone number changed or have your email changed? Which is more likely to change? Your phone number or your email? There are people that had the same email for the last 15, 20 years and still sending people to Yahoo and, you know, um, Gmail and all of this other stuff, right? So, I want you guys to think about it. You're planting the seed, right? If you're planting the seed, what you're doing, you're planting the seed in people's email. First and foremost, why? Because people's email are not likely to change within the next 5, 10, 15 years. So you'll be able to reach the same people within the next 5, 10, 15 years. Now, within those 5, 10, 15 years, they may change their address. They may change their phone number. You know, they may move to another state, but their email address stays the same. Does that make sense to you guys? Does that make sense? Type one, if that makes sense. You want to start marketing people with their email. Second, secondly, would be, of course, text. I, I highly recommend that you start text marketing too. Now, text could, could be coming directly from your phone. The reason why I recommend text marketing is because it's a little more personal when you send a text. When you send an email, you may get lost in the sauce a little bit, but the likelihood of them reaching it, the email reaching them, 
is much greater than direct mail. You know how you get all that junk mail in your mailbox and then what you do, you, you, you shred it immediately. It's probably being folded to, uh, you know, hold up your coffee table. You use junk mail to, you know, pry open, pry open stuff. Junk mail doesn't mean anything, right? So likelihood of emails is number one. Secondly, would come in text, text messages. You're becoming a little more personable with that person. So when you send a text, of course, make sure that it's not spamish or anything like that. Make sure it like it has some type of substance. Maybe you're confirming an appointment. Maybe you're, um, you know, sending them a recap of something that you discussed about. Make sure it's something of substance. Don't don't make it spammy. Don't send a lot of them. You know, maybe you might want to send a discount once a once a month or something like that. But text marketing is huge because every single person carries their phone on them. Every single person carries their phone on them. So you want to be, remember, you want to be as close to your customer as possible. That's how you get to the money. Shout out to you, Tina. Good evening to you. You want to be as close to the money as possible. And the way you do that, you have to be as close to your customer as possible. Okay. So long term, right? Long term, you're planting the seeds. You're planting the seeds. Short term, there are people that are going to need your services immediately, like, like overnight, like this is what we call a uh, bleeding neck, right? The bleeding neck. <clears throat> These people need your services immediately. Those people, you must charge them more. If you're not charging them more, you're losing, you're leaving a lot of money on the table. <clears throat> Excuse me. You're leaving a lot of money on the table. The reason why is because these people need the service now. If they need the service a week, two weeks, a month from now, three months from now, there's no urgency. But because they need that service immediately, that is your chance to charge more. So instead of you having to sell to five people to reach a hundred dollars, you could sell to two people and make a hundred dollars. You have just scaled your business. You have scaled your business. You have cut down the amount of customers you need to service and still kept your profit margin high. If that makes sense to you guys. So email marketing, start that now. Trust me. It's only going to get more sophisticated. I'm, I'm giving my own, my, my Tiger Toledo prophecy here. It's only going to get more sophisticated with email marketing. If Amazon, Google, Yelp, all these custom, all these companies, Facebook, if all these companies can do uh, email marketing, why can't you do it? I want you to understand something. I'm, I'm going to give you guys a glimpse of the future here. Everything is becoming artificial intelligence right now, right? In tech, in the technology world, places like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Yelp, Google. The reason why these services are free is because they are trying to understand people's mannerism, people's behavior, the way you buy, why you buy. How many people are like Londo that purchases things from eBay? What is the age bracket? What kind of profession is this person in? How, how much money does this person make a year and how many kids do they have? How many other people are like Tina? Does that make sense? They're gathering information. The reason why is because they're creating and artificial intelligence to be able to mimic your buying behavior. 
So the reason why I'm telling you guys to get into this email marketing is because it is going to get so sophisticated. It's going to get so sophisticated that people will be buying your products and don't even know why they're buying it. It's because it's been engineered to show them what they like. If that makes sense. Type in one if you guys are, are with me on that. Type in one if you guys understand. If not, I can go over it again so you guys can understand it more clearly. Everything is being technologically engineered to understand the behavior patterns of people. Okay, I'll give you an example. You ever been to a website before? And then you jumped on Facebook and then that same company pops up on an ad or you go to a website and a blog and an ad from that company pops up again. And this is like and it feels like they're stalking you. They're 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 actually following you. Yet yeah, you ever seen something? Like that? Have you guys ever seen anything like that before? You jumped on a website. Let's just say you jumped on Amazon. And then you jumped on Facebook or Twitter and then an Amazon ad pops up. Or you might go to another website and the Amazon and the Amazon another Amazon ad pops up. Or you go on YouTube and an Amazon uh commercial pops up. You ever seen anything like that before? Type in two if you ever seen anything like that happen to you before. And I'll tell you exactly what that is and what it's called. Remember, I am your humble hip hop sales coach. I want you guys to be prepared for the future. Because if you're not being prepared now and you're not taking a proactive approach towards it now, you're not you're not going to survive. Your business is not going to survive in the 21st century. So what that is, what's that's called? Thank you Lando for typing into what that's called is called retargeting, okay? It is called retargeting. Retargeting means I go on Am uh, Google AdSense, right? It, there's something called pixels. You attach it to your website. Somebody visits your website, right? It drops cookies. We, we all see it like, clear cache or clear cookies out of your browser. We always see that in our phones or our websites, right? Or in our laptops or desktops. It says clear cookies, clear cache, right? The website drops cookies inside your browser. Now, if a person is running an ad on Google, anywhere that it goes, that ad is supposed to pop up. Anywhere that person goes, whether it's YouTube, whether it's somebody's blog, whether it's the root, the Grio, whether it's uh, the New York Post, LA Times, Chicago Sun Times, if they have Google AdSense in their blog, your ad is going to pop up. That is called retargeting. That is part of that whole artificial intelligence that they're running currently running right now to understand the behavior of customers. Why? Because statistics show that if a person sees your company or your logo or your service seven times, the magic number is seven, seven times, they are more likely to purchase your product. So you have to have 10, uh, seven to 10 points of contact. If you can pop up in that same customer's face about seven to 10 times, you are more likely to earn that person's business. That's going to be in my book. The 25 laws of guerrilla sales. So seven to 10 points of contact. So I didn't want to make this a long video. I wanted to drop some serious jewels with you guys. Shout out to all you guys. 
Have a great weekend. Peace, love, and happiness. Leave a comment if you'd like. Or, you know, if you'd like to see more videos, you could jump on my YouTube channel. Just type in Tiger Toledo and you can see more of this hot piff. Peace, love, and happiness. I'm out.